there. Welcome to this little DeLorean tech video. Uh, well, I actually planned to use another camera on this, but um, the circumstances didn't allow it, so I ended up with an iPhone. Sorry for that, but bear with me. Um, we're going to deal with this car today. Uh, it has a classic hot start problem. Um, she starts up fine, cold, but uh, once it's warm and you stop it and you leave it for about 20 minutes, uh, you can't start it. It does, just doesn't fire up. That's due to this little bugger. This is the fuel accumulator. This new one is a little bit smaller than the old one. Hence the uh, rubber ring. That's just to fit it in. Uh, so we're going to replace this one. Uh, it's located nicely inside the frame. Access from underneath. I'm going to lift the car up and uh, let's crawl underneath and uh, let's get cracking. These are the parts we're going to use. These are naturally the rubber hoses with the clamps on the ends, the fuel accumulator, and uh, these two little guys, they go on right here. I got these because once I did that on my own car, a couple of years ago I actually broke this one, which was a bummer. So um, I got all the new parts this time. Well, here we are, uh, very much underneath the car. And if we look up here, here it is. Very comfortably inside the frame. And that's kind of that's part of the challenge. Now, mind this, this is the fuel system. And fuel is nasty stuff. Uh, we're going to have some fuel spills here when we cut the cables and when we loosen, uh, loosen things up. Be careful. There's a big no smoking sign on the wall. So now we're going to loosen the, <coughs> the fuel hose and the fuel pipe. Yeah. It's a bit unwilling. Now we're way up in the frame, so I mean, <laughs> you need something long. To reach it, I'm going to remove the four bolts holding uh, the accumulator. Uh, uh, I would need a pillow. Now the four bolts are out. Here's the bracket. First drops of fuel. Oh, this is nice. Uh, here it goes. Oh my god. I'm gonna smell like a real man now. Oh. <clears throat> okay, this is the not so fun part. Whoa. That's the that's the old hose. Just, oh, not pretty. Okay, that is uh, the nipple from the fuel pump. And that is the outfeed that goes to the, to the fuel filter. And that's just the spare that is connected to the accumulator in case there's a leakage or something in it. Uh, so now I'm going to connect the uh, the rubber hoses to the two pipes. Here we go. Here we go. The tube from the infeed is in place. And the spare tube 
to the return line is in place. So I'm going to assemble this. I'll put some some uh, uh, liquid gaskets on this one as well. Couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt. And make sure this points in the right direction. Okay, this may look brutal. I'm just gonna make sure that we tighten this real good. Because you don't want any leak spills. That's the one. It's just a kind of a gentle grip done with the plumbing tools. Uh, got this attached. Uh, now we need to tighten uh, the clamps up here. At that, and that's going to be really interesting because it's kind of cramped. Now, where's the screwdriver? Uh, okay. Everything's tightened, so now we're going to um, put it back and get the fuel fuel filter line in place. So now I'm tightening the four bolts on the on the bracket and I'm gonna make sure that the fuel line is tight and secure yeah. as hard as uh, we dare okay so I think we're good everything's there I had to put in a um, piece of rubber like this Worked with a rubber tube as well. This is around the accumulator because the diameter was actually a little bit too small. We're good. <laughs>